Alright, so the Nebedus event is alive, and it all has to do with the daughter, who now has a spoopy costume. There is, as far as I can tell, no mission or no new quest. However, there's a bunch of Nebedus treats you can buy. With mother tokens. A lot of mother tokens. So, we start off with something that we already had last year, the Nebedus Ephemera. This is one of the most in-your-face type of emeras, it is a very, very noticeable, and it's also very, very nice. Then you can also buy the Plague Aquin, Plague Bokwin, Plague Kripeth, and Plague Kewar blueprints, so you can make yourself a lovely Plague Zor with an 8 Vital Damage. And then we have some Day of the Dead Skins, starting off with the Gram Day of the Dead Skin, which looks quite fantastic, if I may say so myself, as well as the Buzzmoo Day of the Dead Skin, which looks very sleek. It's not as bombastic as the Gram one, but it still looks really nice. Now, to complete your Zor, you can also buy yourself Exodia Contagion as well as Exodia Epidemic. Those are the two arcanes that will fit on Zos. And then we have some glyphs. We have the Grave Skull in the Better's Glyph, a Rotting in the Better's Glyph, and Stink Eye in the Better's Glyph. All three of these are absolutely fantastic. I love them. And they're also very cheap. They're 20 mother tokens a pop, so you can get them very easily. Then we actually have a color palette, the Hollows E for 125 mother tokens, and this has some seriously nice colors in it. Plus, it's one of the very few color palettes that you can actually get for free, so definitely don't forget to pick this one up. It will be, you know, at least a year before it comes back again. Following that, we have the Day of the Dead Voidrex skin, because, you know, you can never have enough skulls. Then we also have the Grim Grin Nebera Sigil for just five mother tokens. Then there is the Whispering Nebera Mobile Mobile, and this is actually a decoration you can place in your London craft and interact with to get a story from Grandmother, and I'll be playing the story at the end of the video. And the final item on the menu is the Spinneret Ephemera. Now make sure that you don't have a dark energy color on your attachment when you equip this Ephemera, otherwise it's gonna be pretty much invisible. And what it does is it basically just covers your Warframe in cobwebs, and if you're running around or moving around, the cobwebs will be dangling behind you. And that is pretty much it for all the stuff you can buy from Daughter, so I'll now leave you with the story you get when you interact with the decoration you can buy from her. So I thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you some other time. Bye-bye. Would you like to hear a story for Nabarus? One that I told my grandchildren when they were small. Very well. Long ago, in the Oricon days, a golden people lived in spoiled luxury. If a body wore out, why? They would take a new one as easily as plucking a maprico. Such was the mystery of the Kuva. So, what became of death and disease? Oh, they were abundant, but not for the Orokin. They were above petty death. Such was their contempt that they decreed a special day on which to make fun of it. On Nabarus. The Night of Memory. The Shining People laughed at death. <laughs> they dressed in costumes that recalled the old days of mortality. Skulls grinned, hallways guttered with demon lights. For one night, beauty was banished, rot and monstrosity held sway. Now, on one very special Nabarus, three pretty Oricon were bored, as Oricon so often were. Nabarus no longer holds its magic for me, sighed one. Masks and costumes are for children, grumbled another. Why follow the crowd, mused the third, are we not the very elite of the elite? Ha ha! Up, my Kissingtons, my luscious loves. Send for blue couver and hot lights. I have a sport that will mend all. And in the corridor, behind a curtain, a solitary silent girl heard them and said nothing. Then the three were very wicked. For what do you think they did? Down into the streets they went, and they caught three poor Austrians and bore them back.
to their gilded halls. One they peeled like a fruit and decked out with glassy splinters, and his naked jaws went chitter-chatter-snap, and it echoed all around. Scarlet footprints he left. Another's limbs they twisted and wrenched his neck and made a bundle of him until he scuttled upsy downsy like a horrid crab. With his sockets all empty and his stretched out nose snuffling. The third they pulled thin in hand and foot. She walked spindly wise on long tiptoes like a spider and her entrails hung delicately down. She whispered, split-tongued and hissing as she went. Fine costumes we've made, chortled the three Oregon. Let us now try them on and visit our friends. What shrieking there will be. Oh, our names will live forever in the court. For such a prank as this! Now, the silent girl brought them their blue coover, so they could take on these twisted bodies for only a short time before returning to their own. They drank and slept and woke in their three horrid forms. Off they went, down the stairs, out the door, into the city, into the night of banners and masks and wild hilarity. Chitter-chatter snap, scuttle-buttle, whispery-hispery. As you can imagine, there were many screams and laughs. Such cleverness, such wit. But in a high room of the tower... The silent girl looked at the faces of the three sleeping Oregon. She went and opened a little ivory door that she was not supposed to know about, and drew forth a flask that she would have been glassed for even looking at. A flask of crimson kuva, the scarlet seal upon continuity, permanent. And she tipped it. Down three cruel throats. With a little laugh, she went skating away, never to return. There were many screams that nabarous night. But when the sun came up, none screamed so loud as the three who found that they were trapped in the hideous bodies they themselves had fashioned forever and ever. So, listen carefully, Tenno, and beware, for you may hear them coming tonight. Whispery hispery on long stalking bones, scuttle buttle with his eyes all empty, and skinless, dripping handed, chitter chatter snap. Happy Natherus! <laughs>